Hey, what's up, everyone? Johnny Man here, and welcome to part two of my LMA Manager 2003 playthrough with Everton. So, on last episode, we beat Tottenham 2 1 in the opening day fixture. Now we take on Everton, sorry, Sunderland, and I think Birmingham. Yeah, Birmingham. All right, so. Last game went really well, but we need to keep improving the side. Now, I've accepted a bid for uh, Steve Simonson, our third-choice goalkeeper, for $2.7 million to Hearts. Um, but I've also agreed terms with Quinton Fortune, potentially to come into the squad, and then also Dean Ashton. I bought Quinton Fortune. He was transfer-listed, £5 million. Pounds. Feels like an okay kind of deal to me. And um, also, we needed improvement on left side of midfield. We don't really have anyone there, to be honest with you. So, I'm bringing in Quinton Fortune. Hopefully, we'll fill a little bit of um, some of the gaps. Anyway. As you can also play the right midfield as well, so his versatility is pretty important. And not to mention, his merchandise sale sales as well in Africa will go down a treat. Allegedly, that's the reason why Man United signed him to try and improve merchandise sales in Africa. I don't know if it's true or not, but I mean, it's quite possible. It was very, very popular to do that at this period of time in the footballing world. Um, but yeah, let me manage it. It's still a great game to play. Um, I've been playing it now for what, 15, 20 minutes? It's my second episode here. And I'm, I'm still kind of getting used to things again, but I'm, I'm still seeing the quality in the game itself. It brings back a lot of nostalgia for me. Um, all right, so Wolves, 5.5 Unsworth. No, thank you. Crystal Palace, five. No, I'm, everyone wants David Unsworth. Everybody wants David Unsworth. I'm not quite sure why. Um, yeah, he wants David. Un yeah, I want David Unsworth as well. I'm not selling them. Uh, Rosinski, same. Not selling him. All right, Stevenson has left. All right, so I can complete the deal for Dean Ashton, and and then I've just signed Quinter Fortune. Excellent. So Fortune naturally will come straight into the squad ahead of Lee Carsley, and automatically boosts up a little bit at the bottom. The team rating now is about seven out of ten. Um, so that's improved. That's much much. That's much better. Much better. Things are looking. Definitely in a positive light here. So, let's take a look at his first team. Obviously, Dean Ashton is going to come in too. He's not quite, doesn't look quite as good as the other strikers, but believe you me, you'll get goals. All right, so let's progress forward, shall we? I'll try and get to this next game uh, up against Sunderland. I'm going to try these episodes around about 20 minutes long, if possible. Um, can't say it's going to happen exactly, how many games we're going to get through and stuff like that, because... Processing is a little bit on the slow side, if you couldn't already tell. Um, Alright, so here we go. Uh, Saturday 24th, I believe that's when our next game is. And I should probably also take a transfer to try and bring some more players in, shouldn't I? Yeah, I should try and improve the squad a lot more than it already is. I mean, I've got some really nice pieces, though, honestly. I mean, I mean that show with a 2-1 win over... Uh, or 4.3 for a backup goalkeeper. That's a pretty good... Uh, no, I'm going to reject it for now. Uh, yeah, that's fine. Um, perfect. Uh, youth match. We we beat Sunderland 4-1, so that's good for the youth team. They lost the first game 6-1. Um, that's fine. Ashton's part of the squad now. All right, so how does Dean Ashton look here? Obviously, uh, Campbell and Wazinski next to Ferguson. Ferguson's my best striker. Uh, obviously, Ashton's not quite as good, is he? But... Trust me here, Ashton's going to start against uh, Sunderland, and it wouldn't be surprised if I saw him score. Anyway, so here we go, up against Sunderland now, at the uh, Stadium of Light. It's been a rough time lately for Sunderland fans. Uh, this probably a much, much better time for them, uh, with uh, some of the players I saw on there, such as uh, Toy Andre Flo, uh, Julio Arco when he was at his peak, uh, Super Kevin Phillips, of course. I mean, quality, quality players indeed. All right, so here we go, Say, uh, Stadium of Light. Up against Sunderland. Try and make it two wins on the bounce to start this series. Obviously, Sunderland, um, I, I, they were a good team. Yeah, there was good players in there. I remember going to the Stadium of Light around this time period. It was always a tough away game. And I remember James Beatty, I think, scoring from about 40 yards out. I think he lobbed uh, Thomas Sorensen, I think is their goalkeeper um, still. Um, oh, yeah, Thomas Sorensen is, yeah. So they play a 4 4 2 formation. I was a little surprised there. Jason McAteer playing on the right wing, so they're going for pace, obviously. All right, so here we go up against Sunderland now at the stadium of light. Come on, boys, let's make it two in a row. Ah, not a good way to start, is it? So Gravison has been brought off injured, so Lindelof. Um, come on for Gravison. All right, that's a big blow. Thomas Gravison's a really good player. All right, come on, boys. Good save there from Sorensen. Ashton was offside. 
Good save there from Richard Wright. Have some of the biggest ears I've ever seen in the world. Oh, that was a chance and a half. Good save there from Sorensen, the keeper. Oh, good effort again. We're dominating so far. Everything's looking pretty good. We're playing some really good stuff, from what I can tell. Obviously, in this super speed version, it's kind of hard to tell how well you're playing, but I feel like we're getting chances. Oh, that was really close. See what happens here. Good header from Ferguson. Oh, good save there from uh, Sorensen. Corner kick. Easy take there from Sorensen. All right, so let's see if we convert this dominance into a goal. That'd be nice. Right before halftime will be great again. Our oh, flow is offside. They've got a few yellow cards already, haven't they? Sunderland. I've noticed. Half time. Alright, so. Nil-nil. Playing some good stuff. Playing some really good stuff. 48% um, possession. Possession may not be as good as I wanted. But apart from that, playing well. Who's playing well out there? For Steve Watson's having the worst game out of everyone. The best player so far has been Scott Gemmel. I don't say that very often. Um, Alright, so. Let's get the second. Let's get the second half going. All right, let's take a look at the shouts. What can we do shout-wise to try and improve our chances of winning here? Oh, there's a chance now. Or oh. Fortune, Unsworth gives it away. There's Linda off. Ashton gives the ball away. Oh, free kick. That was dangerous. Good save again there from Sorensen. It's kept him in the game. All right, come on, boys. 16 minutes. Oh, I don't know who was. I think it was Ferguson. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper there. All right, so let's do... You know, because we've got Dean Ashton and we got Ferguson, Ferguson on top. We should probably go long ball football, right? In in theory. I'm going to make a change. I'm going to make a change. going to freshen some legs up. So I'm going to bring off Scotty Gemmel for Alexanderson. And then... Mm, Dean Ashton's not the best of debuts. Let's bring on Rosinski instead. All right. 15 minutes left to go in this game. See if we can get a winner here. I'm going to take off long ball as well. Because it's not really worked, has it? All right. So. Come on, boys. There's a few minutes left to go. See if we can... Oh, good save there from Sorensen. All right. I mean, I... I I mean, be honest with you, I really love the presentation of LMA Manager here on the home screen because you have the, the results at the bottom bottom there, the sketch, the fixtures, and then everything's really in front of you. It's really clean. There's not a lot going on the screen. Help you just really focus on the action itself. And I thought that's a pretty good it's a it's a pretty pretty good interface, honestly. It looks really nice. In my opinion. And I think it still even works today. If if Foot Manager were to do something like that, it, it wouldn't look bad. It wouldn't look bad. I um so, nil nil. Not bad. I mean, we didn't lose, so that's something to be proud of, I suppose. Uh, but we have a game now up against Birmingham two days from now, so I'm wondering I'm wondering how tired the players are going to be and how much rotation I'm going to have to do. Um, all right. Also, transfer deadline is still approaching. I've only got 4.5 million left to spend, though. So I've got to be... I've got to be... Oh, let's, let's check out-of-contract players. Let's check out-of-contract players. Let's see what's going on here, shall we? Um, see if I get anyone, anyone any good in here. Doesn't look like it, does it? Didn't think there was going to be. I thought there might be a gem. You know, you always have these management games. There's always one gem free agent signing you have to sign. Um, but doesn't look that way. So, back to Spectre Criteria. All right, so let's go to Transfer Listed. Oh, let's do free agent. Actually, would it be free agent? What's the difference between out of contract and free agent? I guess free agent would be they don't have a club. Out of contract just means a doesn't plays for a club but doesn't have a contract. I'm guessing that's what it means. I uh, didn't want that screen. Let's go back to continue, shall we? There's going to be a lot of that, by the way. Until I get used to, until I get used to it, there's going to be a lot of that. All right, so oh, that's no matter really, is it? All right, never mind. Um, where is it? All right, so transfer listed. Transfer listed. Max value five million, I guess. All right, and form the search. All right, who we got? Oh, got Bobic of uh, Borussia Dortmund. Bit of a legend, really. Uh, from I think, I think Francesco Bobic, maybe? No, I don't know. I, I should probably stop guessing. Um, looks pretty good. 3.2 million. That could be a nice addition. Danny Murphy, middle of midfield, is a good player. I didn't even look to check to see how injured... Um, uh, Gravison was, so it couldn't need a replacement in there. 
But Bobbage at 3.2 million is awful, awful tempting. But I do, I've just signed Dean Ashton, though, and I should really persist with him. Uh, Bassidus. Uh, Vigard Hegan. Son, uh, McIntyre, who just played him. Um, hmm. Scroll down, see if we get a bargain, shall we? I mean, Bobbage might be the bargain there. 3.2 million. Uh, Vivas looks pretty solid as well, by the way. Right back. Didn't need a right back. All right, so Vivas, I try and bring him in for, uh, what's it, 1.8 million? That'd be a bit of a bargain, actually. Yeah, I'd be happy with that. All right, so up against Birmingham now. Uh, obviously, we're going to have to change around the team a little bit. We'll take some players out. Again, I'm interested to see how tired they actually are. All right, so. All right. Just got to keep doing this. Right, you've team, we lost 4 0. Uh, they don't want Unsworth now. They've rejected a 1.8 million. Why have you rejected it? You shouldn't reject it. Oh, because the standard Liege bit, bit in for 1.9. All right, let's do that. All right. That's fine. Perfect. All right, so back to the home screen. It's Monday. Okay, so here we go. Check some of the fitness levels of the guys. All right, so anyone really struggling? Gravison is not going to be able to play, obviously. Uh, so Lindelof comes in there. And then we'll have Lee Tai on the bench. We could probably play Lee Tai ahead of Lindelof. Not much between them. Lindelof is slightly better. I'll use Lindelof here. Um, Rooney hasn't played that well. I'll play Wazinski behind Ferguson and Ashton. See how that looks. Uh, what other changes can we make? How's Big Dunk doing? Um, we're doing okay. We should be able to get through this game and then rest a couple of players. Maybe for the next one. It's probably the better plan, isn't it? Um, I'll probably have Rooney on the bench. Eh, doesn't matter. All right, so here we go. Up against uh, Birmingham now at home against Goodison. And, uh, at, Good sorry, at Goodison Park. I can't speak today. I'm fighting a cold right now. If you couldn't already tell, a little muffled. But anyway, um, here we go. So we're actually slightly better than Birmingham are today. So referee, his vision is is good. It's an eight. His harshness is not, it's not harsh. It's really mellowed out. Mellowed out referee. I appreciate that. All right, so Birmingham City, who have they got? Ian Bennett. Um, apparently, is a goalkeeper. Remember him? Stan Lazaridis, apart from having a legendary name. He was a solid player. Clinton Morrison, Stern John. Robbie Savage is on the bench for them. Jesus. All right, so here we go. Birmingham. Let's see if we can continue our unbeaten run today, shall we? All right, so again, as I mentioned earlier on, I'm going to try these episodes to around about 20 minutes. If you guys enjoyed the series, by the way, this would be a good time to hit that like button. And uh, if you want to see more videos by me, just go ahead and hit subscribe um, as well. There'll be lots of more of these kind of series in the future. I do plan to go back and take a look at uh, some older management games, do reviews, things like that. So if you guys enjoy this kind of stuff, uh, please, please subscribe, like. It helps me understand what the market wants to see. All right, so here we go. Up against Birmingham. I think we're going to win today. That's my prediction. That's my prediction. I think Dean Ashton's getting on the score sheet finally as well. I expected him to score last game, but he didn't. He disappointed me. So, let's see if we can make it up today. All right, so. Three kick in dangerous area. Comes out to nothing. I'm still struggling to master the whole slow down for the, the highlight thing. I'm sure eventually I'll get it, but for now, we're just going to have to look confused. Staring at the screen with the very, very blurry figures running back and forward. Um... All right. Ooh, got in the box there. It was a chance, obviously. Ashton was offside. It's the second time I've seen him do that. Right, let me just cross in. That's a decent corner. Effort goes wide of the post. So, so far, it's been nil-nil. And it's not been, not been the best of performances for us. Looks like Bowman have had the majority of the chances. Haven't really seen us build a, a big attack yet. Um... Yeah, not a great performance, is it? No, it's not. Um, interesting. I might take off with Zinski here. Take off with Zinski, bring on Lee Tai instead. Uh, Alexanderson for Gemmel? Yeah, do that as well. All right, so in the second half, I might as well give it a go, shall I? Um, keep ball on attack. No, oh, I go. I turn the ball trail on. That actually helps a little bit, believe it or not. 
forgot they had a ball trail, I'll be honest with you. All right, so. Oh, gets in there. Fantastic finish there. Who was it? Lee Tai, I think, got the goal. We'll take another look at that again. Yep, Lee Tai. Ball goes long here. Good flick on. And Lee Tai looked like he was miles offside, but obviously not. And it's 1 0 getting there, Lee Tai. Inspired substitution from the manager today. Bringing on Lee Tai. Getting the opening goal of the game. All right, is Lee Tai again? Ooh, that was close. They hit the, uh, looks like I hit the outside of the post. And, oh, Jesus, and Bono just scored. Looks like Johnson scored for Birmingham. First league goal of the season for them. Routine set play, failed to get the ball clear. Easy tap in there from Johnson. All right, ooh, decent free kick there. That was inches past the post. All right, so 81 minutes hit on the clock. Looks like it's going to be another draw. Good save there from Richard right at the end. And there is full-time whistle has gone, and it's another draw. 1-1 one, one against Birmingham. Not the result um, or the game I wanted, to be honest with you. I expected a much, much easier time of things. Um, but there you have it. Birmingham came to play, and obviously they deserve the draw because we didn't... There was actually... They had a few more chances by the look of things as well. Um... So you could even argue we were lucky to get away with a draw. Um, all right, so. All right, all right. See, we're playing next up. You also have the transfer deadline as well. Oh, so I'm sort of trying to bring in a right back. I could probably try and bring in another attacking midfielder if possible. I haven't got a lot, lot of money, though, have I? Uh, Man City playing them next up. Uh, led by Captain Sulk, as you can see, Nicholas Anelka. Um, obviously, this was actually uh, before Man City had their billions. Uh, Peter Schmeichel, the aging Peter Schmeichel, uh, still still really good goalkeeper at this age at 38, um, leading the line for them. And then Richard Dunn, Sylvan Distan, Steve Howie, uh, Banabia, Berkovic. I think this is the season just, I think it was just the season after they got promoted again uh, from the championship or Division 1 as it was known at the time. Um, all right, David Uns, people, you, you can forget it. I'm not selling, I'm not selling David Unsworth. I don't care how much money you offered me. All right, so let's go up. So Underworth again. They've accepted the offer now for Vivas. All right, so let's see what he wants. He wants it's pretty reasonable. I can live with that. Bring in Rivas so he can start right, uh, right back for us ahead of Watson. And the good news as well, um, and we have Gravison. He's back and fit and ready to play. So it definitely helps the team out a lot. Um, Lee Tai, though, what to do with him? Do I start him? I should probably start him, shouldn't I? And then, instead of Wazinski, then we'll have Wayne Rooney. Where are you, Wayne? There you go, on the bench, ahead of Wazinski. All right, so. Here we go, next up. we got the transfer deadline in uh, about a four days' time, and then we play Man City. All right, so. A few days left of the transfer window. Haven't got much money to spend. Only five million, actually, to be precise. And even then, I'm just looking to spend about two million on Vivas, which means about three million left to spend in the the old transfer budget. Doesn't give me a lot of options, does it? Really. Um, all right. So what should I do here? What should I do? So I want to improve the squad, obviously. Um, hmm. There's not a lot of players I'm, I'm I'm thinking of right now that I'm going to be able to afford. That's primarily the issue here. Affording players, twelve million pounds is not really a lot of money to work with so fortune ashton vivas wouldn't be a bad transfer window It'd be pretty solid all right so i think the transfer deadline just passed and it didn't give me option to do anything with it so um interesting okay so i think it's at the end of it transfer deadline um yep okay that's fine i can't sign any more players so there you go um, focusing on playing membership manager of the month. There's all these other managers. Uh, Richard Wright's got better distribution. I'll believe that when I see it. All right, so financially as well, we made a profit too, which is nice. And it looks like I didn't sign Vivas because I skipped over it. Well, that's slightly embarrassing, isn't it? All right. Yeah, we're on the bench, so do you. But okay, so we're gonna we're gonna forget that ever happened. Uh, yeah, we're going to forget that ever happened, and yeah. Anyway, moving on.
Moving forward, moving forward, moving forward. All right, so last game of the episode here up against Man City. Again, this awful embarrassment. Again, this, this, uh, um, this series could be a bit of a mess. It really could be um, because of... Uh, you know, I haven't played the game in so long. I'm going to make silly little mistakes like that, unfortunately. Um, but I just hope you guys enjoy it nevertheless. But anyway, up against Man City now. Of course, at the beautiful main road. I was there for the very last game at main road where Michael Svensson rose highest and uh, head of the goal in the first half to give Samson a 1-0 win. All right, so here we go up against the Man City at main road. So we're undefeated so far, so that's a very positive start. But um, not scoring as many goals as I would like. Especially in attack formation, like the fourth would be one two. Um, that's an attack formation. We should be scoring more goals. All right, so here we go. Any time now. Again, loading times in this game are just absolutely amazing, as you can see. Um, <laughs> but it's a PlayStation Two. It's not really the game's fault. All right, so this is Man City's team. Here they got Jeff Whitley at right wing back, like Jensen at left wing back, Sylvan Distan, Richard Dunn, and Steve Howie. Legendary back line there, of course, led by Nicholas Anelka. Uh, so the Sulker Master and Sean Feed the Goat Gota up top for them. All right, so here we go. All right, third time's a charm here for Dimash. Oh, for fuck's sake. All right, well, I guess in that case, what we can do is, because he's attacking midfielder there, I haven't got to bring anyone off. So at least Le Letai's been sent off here, so we're down to 10 men. Could be our first defeat of the season here. I remember how difficult this game got when you were down one man. Um... All right, come on, boys. If we get any chances now, we just have to take it. Good claim there from Richard Wright from the corner. And so far, as you imagine, it's been all-man city of us going down to 10 men. All right. Oh, oh, it's gone in. Get in there. Thomas Gravenson. I saw it hit the post. And um, Thomas Gravenson obviously followed up with the effort. And he made it 1-0. See what happened here. I think that was Ashton with the shot. Uh, tipped onto the crossbar from Peter Schmeichel. And uh, Thomas Graverson tucked it away. Get in there. 1-0. All right. So he's got to defend for our lives now. Let's try and keep the ball. I think that's a smart tactic in this situation. Get in there. 2-0. Can you believe it? Thomas Graverson gets his second goal of the game. And ignore what I was saying about this game being hard. With down to 10 men. Thomas Graverson making it 2-0. Just before the half. And I'm going to keep it on keep ball. Because obviously that worked the first time around. So, all right. Oh, that was a great chance for Sean Gota there. All right. 2-0. Can you believe it? Litai getting sent off early on in the first half. Didn't stop us, though. 2-0 up now. Thomas Graverson with a couple of goals on his return from injury. All right, so I have to see how the second half plays out now. Obviously, I might switch to a bit more defensive formation, being 2-0 up. It would be wise, but also I don't want to be too negative. I don't want to invite more pressure than already has been. All right, come on, boys. So, uh, oh, yeah, we've got to try and keep the ball again. All right, so I forget that happens. When you're at halftime, by the way, uh, if you have a shout on at halftime, it'll automatically come off, so... All right, so we have just 20 minutes left to go in this game. Still 2 0 up here. I could try and shut up the shop and uh, just hold on to this lead. 15 minutes now. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm going to do. I think it would be smart of me to uh, cancel dugout tactic. All right, so what can we do here? Uh, nope, 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 nope. Thinking about just doing 4 4 1 1. And then uh, instead of Dean Ashton attacking midfielder, I'll switch you two around and bring on. I've only got Alexanderson. He can play center midfield, that's fine. Uh, actually, I should probably have. Should probably have Gremmel there, shouldn't I? It's okay. That'll be fine for now. Alright, so. Here we go. 15 minutes left to go in this game. We've gone to a 4 4 1 1 formation instead, or I guess a 4 4 1 with the uh, sending off of Lee Tai. All right, so just 10 minutes left to go in this game now. We should be able to hold on. Uh, keep the ball, please. Perfect. So two minutes out of on time. Yep, yeah, I'll say, I'd say victory is now pretty much been guaranteed and a very, very satisfying 2-0 win. Uh, nope, not going to keep my tactic change tactics. All right, so, yeah, very satisfying 2-0 win at Main Road against Man City. Get in there. Don't have to go over the highlights. Take a look at the league table, just out of interest. How are we doing? Fifth place in the table. Can you believe it? Undefeated. Fifth place right now. 
exceeding all expectations. By the way, the expectation of the season was to finish mid-table, um, so definitely exceeding that so far. Uh, no real surprises. Perhaps Chelsea in the bottom half of the table is a little bit surprising, but it's still early going. They've actually, uh, yeah, Newcastle only played two games involved, only two draws. Disappointing for them. Um, but overall, doing really good, playing really good stuff. Um, happy how things are going. Honestly, I'd like to see a few more goals, perhaps from our strikers, because our strikers are, are pretty good, honestly. Dean Ashton, Duncan Ferguson, uh, Redzinski, Rooney uh, should have already got themselves a couple of goals by now. And apart from the opening day, None of them have scored thus far, so. Alright, so. Pretty good stuff. Pretty good stuff indeed. Alright, so that's going to complete the episode. We're, around, we're about out of time for it. Um, hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. If you are, remember to smash the like button below. If you want to see more videos by me in the future, please hit subscribe, turn notifications on. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next part. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.